All right, we're gonna read you some one and two star reviews of a game and let's see if you can guess what it is. Very, V-A-R-Y, bad. Unnecessarily complicated and unattractive enough to play again. Makes my eyes bleed. <laughs> Good song there. I came here because of all the people rating games like KDM or Hate with a one just because of their mature theme. I'm offended by how boring the theme of this game is. <laughs> Only game I finished the game, and I still don't completely understand how to play. That's actually a fair point. <laughs> <laughs> While the game has some satisfying elements, they're buried beneath an obtuse visual design, overcomplicated action sequencing, and long stretches of downtime between turns. Waste. Just a truly pungent design. A cluster cuss of mechanisms. <laughs> well, long story short, Having an eight-page player aid for the game to just describe what each token card does just because it has poor iconography just kills any gameplay. Dead on the spot. <laughs> That's not a review. That was just me. <laughs> All right. What do you think it is? Comment below. It's time for the big reveal. Did you guess this week's game? Let's see. Uh, some people thought it was super ugly. Some, some people thought it was unnecessarily complicated. Some people ended the game and still weren't sure how to play. And then, of course, is the eight-page player aid. If that didn't give it away, you probably haven't played this game. I think this is a beautiful, chunky masterpiece. We both love this game. It is our favorite game by this designer. It is right here, and it is... Lisboa. I will admit, the first time I played this, I ended the game, and I still didn't quite know how to play it. But it is a beautiful, chunky masterpiece as far as we are concerned. Did you get it this week? 